In this video, we got another episode of the series where I rate and improve your guys' teams. You guys will send me your teams on Twitter at x 7 Tanaka, and I'll give you guys my best suggestions to help improve your guys' squad and a rating 1 through 10. If you guys also want to let me know your guys' team and empty amount down below on the YouTube comment section, I'll give you guys my best suggestions to help improve your team. So if you want to let me know your guys' squad and how much MT you guys have, I'll give you guys my best suggestions in the comment section down below. But looking at the first team here of the video is going to be coming in from Flo. He says Bob has 26 holidays. Of fame badges and he don't plan on replacing and he's got peter at the back of five now and he does have 325k so peter's gonna be playing back at five over that diop card and he said he doesn't want to replace bob netaleki i think with bob extra hoffs he's still a very capable power forward for me looking at your squad i think it's a very well complete team especially with that peter card that was my first suggestion i was going to make when looking at the squad before i read that you just got him so that's who i would have said for the back of five but after that i'd say your team is probably easily a nine to 9.5 out of 10 the only two suggestions I would make is for your backup two and for your backup small four position. For your backup two, I would personally go ahead and get Ricky Davis. I do think he's a good amount better than Glenn Rice, or not Glenn Rice, sorry, a lot better than Eddie Jones. I know you locked in for him, so you probably want to, you know, get the most out of him, but if you're trying to make the best upgrades, I would go with Ricky Davis. I do think he's a good amount better than a card like Glenn. Uh, I keep saying Glenn Rice, then Eddie Jones. And then for the backup small four position, I would say Kuzma is honestly better than Tim Thomas, which I know sounds maybe crazy to say, or you could go get Jonathan Bender just to give you a little bit more size off the bench. Having Bob at the three is a little bit smaller. So having Jonathan Bender being a seven foot small forward could be super, super helpful. So I'd go Ricky Davis for the backup two. And then I would also go for Jonathan Bender or Kyle Kuzma to play that backup small four position. Looking at the next team here coming in from Christopher, he's got 200,000 MT and a very solid squad. I would say for the rating out of 10, you know, I'm not the biggest fan of Shea at point guard. Other than that though, I'd say it's like an eight out of 10, maybe 8.5. There's a couple weak spots like Shea that I think you definitely could upgrade. With 200,000 MT, the first thing I would go ahead and do is move Yi to the backup four, put Kat to the backup five, and then I would put Dino to the starting four and get that new pink diamond Peter to play your center position. So your bigs will be Dino at the starting four, Peter at the starting center position, and then for now, Galaxy Sopo Yi at the back of four, and Galaxy Sopo Cat at the back of five. Now for your small four position, I think you're good. I like Purvis Ellison, I like Kuzma, I like Steve Smith as shooting guard, and I also like Glenn Rice. So no suggestions to be made for your shooting guard in small four, but then for your backup point guard position, like I mentioned, not the biggest fan of Shea. I would get a card like a Rudy Fernandez. He's a really, really good Galaxy Sopo point guard. I mean, you can spend a little bit more MT if you wanted to. Go ahead and get a Scotty Barnes, a Sangoon, you know, those type of point guards. But if you just want to go for a nice budget card, I would probably recommend going with that uh, Galaxy Sobo Rudy Fernandez, as I feel like he's a really, really good Galaxy Sobo point guard that is a lot better than Shea. So those are the suggestions I would make. If you also want to maybe look for a better backup center over Cat, I would personally go for Galaxy Sobo Boogie. I think he's just slightly better at that center position. But all around, a very complete team. Looking at the next squad here coming in from skilled cheese that is a great name uh, around 200,000 mt though he has and a very good team i'd say this is a nine I would say it's a solid 9 out of 10 team. I'm not the biggest fan of Will Chamberlain, so for me personally, I would recommend selling just what I would do for me. Now, if you want to keep Wilts because you like Wilts and you can agree with him, then definitely keep Wilts. But for me, I would probably go ahead and sell Wilts and pick up the Pink Diamond Peter card. And even if you don't want to sell Wilts, I would probably just go ahead and get Peter anyways, move Dwight to the back of four, sell Evan Mobley, and then get Pink Diamond Peter to play that backup center position. So even if you don't want to sell Wilts, that's what I would do anyways, move Dwight to the back of four and then have pink diamond peter as your backup center i like your small forwards ak danny ferry super elite and i like the rest of your team to be honest with you i think your only suggestion you need at least for me is the pink diamond peter to play that backup center position and then move dwight to the back of four i like jimmy i like sangu and i like ricky davis pippen's great ak is amazing i mean danny ferry is so good on the offensive end that i think that's the only suggestion you need to make for your squad is get pink diamond peter to play that backup center position looking at the next team here coming in from xavier he's currently got a uh, 80,000 MT and another very solid squad. I mean, you got Sean Livingston, Ricky Davis, you know, AK. Love that one, two, three combo. Then you got KG at the four. You got that Peter at the five. Your bench could definitely be worked on a little bit. So I'd say for this squad, probably like an 8.5 out of 10, maybe a nine. It's a very good team. Uh, I would probably get rid of Cat and get rid of Mark Eden. If you sell um, both of them, you should be able to get closer to what, 150? I would say like around 150K. So with that, I would probably go get Dino for your backup four. 
And then if you want to go for like a pink diamond Diop, you can at the backup center position. If you want to go for Opal Boogie, that's not a terrible option either. But I would definitely get Dino to play your backup power forward spot. And then personally, I would go ahead and get Galaxy Opal Boogie to play your backup five. If you really like Cat or you really like Mark Eden, they can stay there. So maybe if, maybe if you like Mark Eden a lot at the five, then I just recommend go ahead and get the pink diamond Dino or the Galaxy Opal Boogie to play over Cat. But all around a very solid squad. I would pretty much just upgrade that back of four or that back of five. Looking at the next team here coming in from Riv, he's got 300,000 MT as his budget and he's about to get Hakeem. So once you get Hakeem, you should definitely put him at the back of five or four for sure. Once again, another suggestion that I'm probably going to make for pretty much every team that doesn't have this card. It's just get that pink diamond Peter card. He's so good for his value. And especially on this team, you kind of need that backup center. You're currently running KG at the five. So what I would do is I would keep Taco and Dikembe starting. For my backup four and five, I would probably go Hakeem and Peter once you do get the card. For now, you can keep Jonathan Bender or KG there or Giannis. Depends who, uh, depends on who you're playing. But for the backup five, I would definitely get Pink Diamond Peter, an amazing seven foot two center that can really compete with the Dikembe's, the Kristaps's, the Yao Ming's of the world, those taller centers. He can really be a big body down low. Seven foot two, seven foot ten wingspan, great player model, and does have a very good jump shot as well. So he's not bad on the offensive end by any means. So I get Pink diamond peter for the backup five and then once you get hakeem elijah one i play him at the backup four and then for the rest of your squad i mean i'm not the biggest fan personally of ben simmons but if you like using ben then go ahead you got kuzma and ricky davis who are two great offensive cards that will make up for ben's lack of defense so i feel like a lot of people's teams really just need an upgrade to their front court like everybody's got good backcourt they got good guards they got good small forwards they really just sometimes need some upgraded power forward and center positions so that's what i do with your squad if you got a bench of like scotty barnes glenn Wright. AK, Hakeem, and uh, Peter. That is such a good bench and then also does have a really good starting lineup. Looking at the next team here coming in from Hunter, he's got 300,000 MT and another very solid squad. I mean, your bench definitely needs work. You're back at three, four, and five, but your starting lineup is super complete. I mean, I would say your bench definitely lets the rating down a little bit. I'm gonna have to give you an eight out of 10 just because of like Tim Duncan, Kareem, just really not being the greatest. So easy, suggest easy suggestions. Once again, get Pink Diamond Peter. I think he's so elite at that center position position and he can be a really nice backup five. And then for your backup uh, small four position, I would personally go ahead and get Jonathan Bender, get Kuzma, get Jonathan Isaac. One of those three small forwards, I do think nowadays are a good amount better than Tim Thomas. You could also maybe upgrade your backup point guard spot to like a Scotty Barnes or a Sangoon just to give you a little bit more defense. So for example, if you go with Kuzma for your backup three, I would probably try to get a better defender at your point guard position, whether that's even a Luke Walton, a Scotty Barnes, a Sangoon, even a Matisse Thybul, just a card that and play lockdown defense i think will be a lot better next to a glenn rice and a kuzma for your backup five like i said get that pink diamond peter card and then for your backup four i mean you could put jonathan bender there if you wanted to i think the safe option and the good option is probably just go ahead and get pink diamond dino you could also maybe go after galaxy bull boogie he's a very nice power forward in the game as well and then i would also look to upgrade ricky davis or upgrade eddie jones to ricky davis i do think he's a lot better at the shooting guard position but all around i think your squad is super complete i would just get ricky davis for your two I would get Scotty Barnes for your backup point guard spot. I would get Kuzma for your backup three, uh, Dino or Boogie for your backup four, and then the Pink Diamond Peter to play your backup center position. And then looking at the final team here of the video is going to be coming in from King uh, King Dracula. He's got 300,000 MT and another just elite squad. There is so many good teams sent in this week that I really could not find like teams that were like super, super budgety and really needed improvement. So a lot of these teams are just super good in this video that just needs like just need like one or two upgrades. And that's the same thing for this squad. I think your team is really elite. I would say 9.5 out of 10 easily. I would recommend probably moving Taco to the backup four. I think having Taco and Yao Ming on the separate lines is super crucial for Unlimited because, for example... If you have Taco and Yao in the starting lineup, yeah, sure, you're going to dominate. But what happens if they have Taco or Yao Ming coming off the bench? And now you got to deal with them with Dikembe and Hakeem, who are still very good defenders. But in my opinion, I think it's smarter to like swap Taco and Hakeem to have Hakeem next to Yao Ming. He's also going to make up for his lack of speed, his lack of his, uh, athleticism. And I will say, I know Taco and Yao Ming are super overpowered, but them next to each other is a really slow front court and a little bit not the greatest mobile. So I would move Hakeem to the starting four. He's going to make up for Yao Ming's lack of uh, athleticism speed you know vertical all the type of stuff and then now you can have taco and dikembe next to each other which is going to be so much more dominant in my opinion and then for the rest of your squad i would just get ak over kuzma over danny ferry i think ak is still the best small forward in the game and he's going to give you that defense you need on your bench or your starting lineup and then i'm not the biggest fan of pete 
you know, compared to the top point guards in the game. But if you want to use him because he's really fun on the offensive end, then I would say go ahead because Pete is still super, you know, good on offense and can definitely score the ball at a very high level. But let me know in the comment section down below. Like I said at the start of the video, guys, let me know your guys' team and empty amount down below, and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace.